In this video, I want to talk to you about the process of post-processing. It's really important that we understand what post-processing is. And for the most part, when we send a scan to the outside world or to indeed to another piece of software within the TreeShape workflow, the data will be post-processed automatically as part of that process. But there will be times when you'll do a scan and you're not sending it anywhere. You're keeping it in-house. You're not sending it anywhere. You do a scan, you then move, just go back to the patient database and the um, and move on to the next patient. Very often in that situation, but always in that situation, you'll see a message and it will say, do, scans need to be post-processed before they can be used on other PCs. Do you want to post-process now or do you want to skip? And it's really important we understand what's going on there. So this is another area where we'll post-process and I just want to bring you to this page. In the analysis page, the software says the case has not been finalized yet. Post-process the case to save in the final quality. And we have an option here to post-process. Before we do that, I just want to highlight something. So you can see the scan and it's a great scan. There's no question about that. Um, the detail is really, really sharp. But you might notice that there's maybe a little bit of blending there in the margins and so on. What's really important, I'm going to actually, I'm going to hit post-process. And, and whilst it's post-processing, let's talk about it. So what's going on? When we scan, we've got a fabulous scanner here. It's generating a ton of data. It's generating 1,500 images every second. It's pumping that into the computer. It's the computer's processing it. It's nearly like jigsaw puzzle pieces. So you imagine a jigsaw puzzle. You've got a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. You put them all together. You've got a really nice picture. But you can see all the cracked lines beside, um, between each image. It's kind of the same idea, same concept when scanning. So we do a scan. Scan goes to... The software and we get to see a preview of the final image on screen. All in all we can capture a gigabyte per arch even. A gigabyte of data, a huge amount of data per arch is captured whilst we're scanning. That's not, it's not practical to the number one long term. Keep that long term to sit, share it and save it across a network or indeed to transfer it to, to a lab. But it's not the final result. That's the really important thing, the important message that I want you to, to take from, from this um, presentation. That raw data that we capture during scanning is not the final result. When we go through the process, post-processing stage, which has just happened, I just clicked on post-process and, and this, is, this is what we have. What's now happening, what happened in that minute, minute and a half while, while I was talking, the software optimized and finalized the data. It didn't compress it, it optimizes it and finalizes it. So going back to the jigsaw puzzle, imagine you have a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. We take a photograph of that puzzle with all the crack lines and bring it into something like Photoshop and automatically enhance it. All those crack lines disappear and we see a nice crisp, sharp image. That's kind of the same as what's going on here. If I turn off the color particularly, now you get to see all of that detail to a much higher degree. That is the result of post-processing. The other side of it is that that image on screen now that we're looking at is only around about 15 megabytes. So we've gone from a gigabyte of data, huge amount of data, all the way down to something much smaller, such as, in, as I say, in around the region of 15 megabytes. This data is kept long-term. This finalized scan is kept long-term. This is what's saved on your computer. This is what's saved on your network if it's configured in such a way. This is what's sent up to the cloud, and this is what's sent out to the lab, 15 megabytes. 20 megabytes, give or take, depending on the, the case and so on. But it's a relatively small amount of data compared to the one gigabyte of data. So you're probably thinking, well, what happens to one gigabyte of data? You've got a hard drive on your machine. It's a terabyte. That's a thousand gigabytes. So you, know, you can imagine that very quickly that will fill up with gigabytes of um, with, with scans, if that's how big the scans are. So what will happen is after 45 days, the software will flush out that raw scan data and just get rid of it, it's redundant. It's once we've processed the scan and sent it through to the lab or up to the cloud or wherever, you know, the, the raw data is redundant. We should not have a need, we may not have a need for that scan, for that scan data. So it gets flushed out and that's fine. So the way I like to look at it is, it's kind of like an impression and a model. You take an impression of a patient's teeth, you pack it up, send it to the lab, they cast up a model. And the model is the final result. That's what the restoration is made on, that's what's used for it. Or treatment planning or whatever the need might be. The impression is a temporary thing. It's And after the model is cast, the impression is redundant. Do we keep the impressions? Sometimes people will. Most of the times people won't, and particularly if it's an alginate impression, you know, it's gone in the bin 
as soon as a, as soon as the model is cast. So the model is the final thing. So kind of like what in a similar manner in the digital world, that's what we're looking at. When we're scanning, we're capturing an impression. When we hit post process, that impression is turned into a final model. So we'll have, as I said, we've got three options to post process. One is when we're in that analysis stage. Another is when we move the, the when we complete a scan, it just goes straight back to patients. Uh, the software will give us an option to post process at that point. And the third scenario is when we send. So when we hit send, when we do, do a scan and we hit send, the software will post process that data automatically as part of the sending process. So we don't need to worry about it. Let's go back to that message though that I talked about. Do you want to post process? And you've got an option to post process or skip. If you hit skip, what happens is you're not post processing the data. You've captured a scan, you've gone to all that effort, capture the scan, it sits on your computer, but it's on post processed. The software after 45 days will flush that out and you'll be left with nothing. So make sure you always post process the data. If you're given that option to hit post process, do it. If you don't do it there and then, you're under pressure, patients just to come in, whatever's going on, come back to it later. Make a note, make sure you come back to it later. It's really important that you do that. So why might we want to keep the raw data? There's one situation where we might want to keep the raw data. And that is, if we've done a scan today and we know that that patient is going to come back at some point in the future, beyond 45 days, and we really want to reuse, we want to amend that scan. We want to, uh, let's say it's been a tricky case. It's been a patient with maybe strong gag reflex and it's been a challenge um, scanning. And we really want to, when they come back, we really want to just add to that scan. If we want to add to the scan, we need to have the raw scan data available to us. Um, so in order to make sure that we preserve that raw scan data, now hopefully the patient's gonna come back within two weeks. That's within our 45 day threshold, that's fine. But let's say they canceled, something goes on and you know that gets pushed out and gets pushed out. If it is a case that you have raw data and you really want to keep it for future use, go back to the patient's list, find, find a scan and right click. And we have an option for protect from cleanup. We check that, then we're extending that period from when um, the, the data will be available to us. That means we can come back at any point in the future and amend that scan and rescan, uh, just rescan that particular area. Now, I will say, obviously, from a clinical perspective, how maybe if it goes beyond 45 days, that's a month and a half, six weeks. Maybe we should be looking at doing a new scan at that point anyway, in case there's any tooth movements, tooth wears, any changes in the patient's dentition. Maybe we, we should be starting with a fresh scan at that point rather than uh, rather than reusing an, an older scan. So again, I can't overemphasize post-processing. If, if the software gives you an opportunity to do it, if it says you must post, or if it suggests you post-process now, don't hit skip, hit post-process. Otherwise you run the risk of your data. Being, being flushed out as part of this um, housekeeping routine. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, any questions, as always, please reach out to us at support at esmdigitalsolutions.com. Thank you, have a great day.